Our next question comes in from Grizz Imus, who says, when I sent you my real mail, FedEx said the address you gave at at in the description is not a goddamn P.O. box, so I sent my fucking real ass mail. Inside contained some of my personal badass shit and a tiny bundle of cash. <laughs> this was last month and you haven't got it, showed it yet, therefore I've sent my badass shit to some Jew Muslim motherfucker and I'm out of however much money I sent you. Fuck you. Have a good day. Wow. Wow. All right, let me uh, let me handle this one. You sure? Yeah. You got this? All right. Uh, Don't go Grizzimus. No, 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 it's fine. All it's right. fine. Just, uh, I'll be okay. All right. Grismus. All right. Uh, uh, first off, we appreciate your mail. However, yeah. uh, please uh, refrain from typing in all capital letters to us. Because that's that's, uh, that's internet shouting, especially when you're shouting "fuck you" mm -hmm. at the people that you want to, uh, you know, mm -hmm. perform a service for you. That's not the way to get things done. That's all right. True. So, uh, fuck you. Next up, mm -hmm. Jew Muslim. Yeah. Eh, already, uh, that's fictional. Uh, motherfucker. That's even more. Like that's even the odds of that happening. Very you're, rare. I'm Jew. You're Jewish. You're Muslim, and you fuck moms. <laughs> that's a very rare breed, and I don't think mm. I don't think you've ever seen one. I know I haven't. Mm. Next up, you send us money. You idiot! You send us money through the mail. <laughs> I don't even appreciate that. You're too. It's too stupid for me to even appreciate. And finally, FedEx doesn't even ship shit. To P.O. boxes. The Postal Service ships shit to P.O. box. You need a FedEx box for FedEx to deliver that shit. Do you see a FedEx box in the address in the description of this video? I don't think so! I don't think so! Are we good? Yeah, but we appreciate your yeah. comment. What's up, you guys? Welcome to Inbox. I'm Mr. Sark, and I'm this a is my metrosexual friend, what? APL. What? Wearing a nice... Nicely striped pink shirt today. Wow. I like that. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you took notice. What's going I wouldn't on with call the... it metrosexual. I was just trying to change it up a little bit. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you metro. You know, bring, bring a little flair to the to the inbox. Oh, scene. this was like a con- you just- Yeah. yeah? You know. Just, okay. Why not? Alright. Uh, I think uh, I think I look good in pink, so. Hmm. I don't know. Well, uh, this is oh. the show here on Team Respawn, where we attempt to field all of the weird and wonderful uh, questions and comments uh, that you guys send our way via whether it's the YouTube comments below the vid, Facebooks, Twitters, emails, all that stuff, or real, ma real mail sometimes. Yeah. We're not doing any of that this week, but we have some. So if you've sent us something and we haven't got to it yet, it's we're letting it pile up a little bit. So. You should probably not send us anything that's time sensitive. No, because yeah, zero that's... fucks are given. <laughs> <laughs> if there was any any lesson from the last real mail episode we did, time sensitive. This is also a nice things. Grapes are great. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the the? I don't know what the kinds are. I'm feeling green. green today. Yeah, yeah. They're more tart. I feel like, mm -hmm. but uh, this is a nice little good. like. We're moving into spring. Mm. It's a nice little fresh. It's a good grapes are always. I didn't last week. Fucking tootsie rolls. Yeah, They're yeah, just those were the, terrible. The butthole of candy. So bad. Should we do this thing? Yeah, let's do it. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Mm. It's getting to be uh, mm. like I have a psychic connection with the. Yeah. Thing. There's really no the struggle anymore. We are uh, six stories deep below. Yeah, we are. What does that say? Make a. Make a like a high, make a hiney ho. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah? Mm. I, I've heard that from. Uh, what is that from? I think it's uh, Hawaiian it's... for uh, oh. Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh boy. I can just at a glance I can oh tell it's about to get rough. Okay. So you better check your metro shit at the door because right, we're ready. about to get we're about to go deep. Alright. Alright. First up, Habib Gondor asks, as a tall guy, I just cannot get myself to date short girls. Does it bother you if the girl is much shorter than you? <clears throat> See on drugs? That's awesome. Short girls are the best. Yeah. I, you don't want a girl that's taller than you or at your level. Yep. Ever. Like, I mean, okay, not ever, but you know when you see those dudes with those women that are super taller than them, you know, everyone's always kind of like, oh, like, that's oh, kind of weird. It's weird. Yeah. Slash. Look at how tiny you are. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Wow. Are you even? Yeah. Absolutely, so, Habib. I love short girls. I think it's. You gotta awesome. chill. Chill the fuck out, man. I think. I think he'd be an anomaly. Yeah. I don't think that's normal. Absolutely. It's common knowledge that the the only real, like, variable that's important about a girl is right. how deep her vagina is. Mm. What? Next question, Zach Taintlick Bauer asks, did you ever have a crush on any of your friend's moms? Speaking of deep vaginas. Yeah. No, I did not. No? Never. No. My friend's moms, and I apologize in advance if oh, you wow. were my this friend is... and you're watching this, but yeah. my friend's moms were fucking sphere disgusting spherical <laughs> beasts. Really? Yeah. You never had, wow, that's, that's you were really deprived, because that's one of the- Job of the, just job of the mom. 
That's like one of the staples yeah. of childhood. You always have a friend that has a hot mom and you give him shit about it his whole life. Like that's, no, the, that's the thing. Just stuffing, just sitting, <laughs> sitting on the couch with their giant, their giant like Vajomics. water, water mm. bag tits hanging over their like oh, the no. moom creases of their moo moo with like holes of instant oatmeal just shoveling it into their fat disgusting faces and no offense <laughs> if you can't say no offense, offense. <laughs> That was work. one of your moms. Wow. You wait. Did you have a crush on? I did. I had a couple, yeah. but there's too many to name, really. Um, <laughs> so, Warren, your mom was always hot. Uh, Braden Bin Binniger uh, says, or Binger says, have you ever been in a fight? What happened? Not really like a, a, a straight down where like people circle around and you're like brawling with someone. I haven't really been in that kind of fight. What kind um, of what? Have you been in a fight? <sighs> yes, kind of. I mean, it wasn't really a fight. I, I, go on. I've told, I think I've told the story on the show about I Scott. Want to, I want Scott. Yeah, if you're watching, you probably aren't because you're probably in some trailer park fucking your sister. She was a oh god, she was horrible. She made my sister's uh, high school ex or middle school experience hell. Uh, Sarah, fuck you too. Anyway, so he used to make fun of me in high school a lot about random okay. shit. I was new to the high school. It wasn't so much a fight. I just got really sick of him uh -huh. picking on me one day. I was walking by his locker and he was like, he made some comment about the shirt I was wearing. Okay. I literally turned around, grabbed him by the collar of his shirt and slammed him into the locker as hard okay. as I could, All right. All knocking right. his head back. So that's not really a fight. I told him if no. I ever talked shit to him again, I was gonna kill him. Okay. So. Uh, that was a sort of an altercation. It's not really a fight though, because no. he didn't really have an opportunity to do you need to have, you need, But he never picked on me again, so. You need to have been punched. Yeah. For it to be right a fight. In the face. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've been in a fight. I've been in a lot of fights, and I don't, we just don't have really have time to All go time. into it. Yeah. Uh, oh, you have, oh, yeah, you have. You told me about a few of those. Yeah. The, probably a lot give of Give me the, a highlight. Give me, okay. just give me, All right. just give me a good one. After the movie Fight Club came out, <laughs> me and my roommate uh, lost our minds, what minds we had. It was not much. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we hosted uh, a Fight Club in our house for several months. Yeah, weekly. And we just had whoever wanted to come over. We threw each other through brawl. the drywall. We got I, got, I got kicked so hard in the face by a by a Muay Thai, like a professional kickboxer, that my face swelled up, and if I laughed too hard, bubbles blew out my tear ducts. Like, oh I could blow bubbles God. out of my eye. I got kicked in the, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. It's not really street fights, though. It's more like, you know, well, I guess it is. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's I was gonna say that's sort of like a professional fight, but it wasn't really, because we were like fighting Marines and gangbangers. Oh my God. Whatever, we had rules. You had to hug when you were done, and. Mm. And my roommate and I would fight first, and then we would pick randomly who fought next. And it was a very, it was structured, man. Yeah. Yeah. Next question, Blake Mitchell. This one's for APL. Would you rather spend a day in the shoes of Sark, Nanners, or Hutch? Probably gonna shit my pants if this actually gets put on the show. So, be there you go. <laughs> there he yep. goes. He just did. Yep. Hope I you, almost uh, said ejaculated, but. Hope you're wearing it. Adult. <laughs> Depends. Pants. Yeah. Depends. Yeah. Good. Um, who would I want to spend? This is pretty easy for me. I would want to spend a day in the shoes of Sark because, in a way, Sark's a little bit of a of an alien in some ways, and he's hard. Like, uh, there's certain elements about you and your personality that I just I find fascinating. So I would like to be in your shoes to see what's going on up there. You want to you know? understand? I want to. I want to understand. You want to understand me? I do. Yeah. I mean, I understand. I understand you somewhat, but I don't I'm know. an alien. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Kind of, in yeah. some ways. Yeah, it's a compliment. It's a good thing. Like it wouldn't. It would honestly not surprise me if it was like. I'll be right here. <laughs> right? Exactly. No peace. <laughs> uh, now's the part of the show where we step on the gas. We ramp things up and we call it rapid fire and we hit this button and button like a cat! Stephen Ling Wong just asked Xbox 720 or PS4! Xbox! Well, see which one doesn't suck balls! Christian Bissau wants to know if we like Magic the Gathering or cats better, more. Oh, Magic the cats. Gathering suits no the cats. cards. Meow. Well, no, Meow. no, no, that makes me uncomfortable. Oh. Dude, Meow. get a hold of yourself, man. Meow. Oh my god. <laughs> so Right. Kyle Robert Wade weighs in with a real puzzler. Would we rather attempt to teach Helen Keller to speak or spend five days in a concentration camp? 
You must really hate retards, Kyle, if you think teaching one of them is equal <laughs> to spending five days in a concentration camp. That's fucked up. That's it's straight fucked up. up. That's yeah. really messed up. Yeah. Depends on the camp. <laughs> Get Papas Pops an interesting question with the following. Would you rather know the exact moment of your death or the exact moment of the death of someone you love dearly and behold very dearly to yourself? I'd rather know the death of a loved one. Just as soon as you know when they're gonna die, you can yeah. stop giving a shit about them. Oh, no, you can no, distance no, no. yourself from them and then not care anymore. That's not what I meant. <laughs> That's so, no. I just don't want to know when I'm gonna die. That's not the, Mom, I'm sorry. That's, that's not what I meant. Ever since you put that shirt on, you turn into a huge pussy. Bubba Scoopa Clark 20 wants to know if we'd rather cry pee or semen. We really have to think about this one for a minute. You go first, they This one is a no-brainer for me. No one wants to have pee out their eyes, but no one wants to have jizz out their eyes. People are like, what the fuck? Why are you jizzing out of your eyes? Did someone just come on you? You don't want that on the regular. Absolutely not. I would take pee. I choose pee as well, because if you get jizz on your eyes and then a woman rubs herself on you wrong, then she may get pregnant. You don't want that on your conscience now, do you, sugar daddy? All right, that's it for today's show. Thanks for all the questions, you sick sons of bitches. Remember to leave comments and questions for next week in the comment section, or click on the link in the Facebook stuff to send us a question through the Facebook. And remember, the P.O. Box address is in the description of the video. And don't send us money, and don't try to send FedEx to the P.O. Box. Please. What is up guys? Don't answer that. Jim with these here. Starting off at 10 is my gamer tag bro. It's more Black Ops 2. This is slow scoping. This is called... Some serious, really good acting right there.